And then drop down to verse number 9. Now look at verse 8. And they heard God, the Lord God, what? Walking. Walking. They heard the what? The voice of the Lord God, what? Walking in the garden in the cool of their day. And Adam and Eve and his wife, what? Hid themselves from the what? Presence of the Lord God, where? Amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God, what? Called unto who? Adam. And said unto him, where art thou? In other words, God is asking Adam, do you know where you at? Do you not know that you have gotten out of the presence of God? Do you know, have you, can you locate yourself? Where are you? Amen. Amen. So God is trying to get us to find out where your location is when it comes down to comparing to where he has you at. Amen. Amen. So, in the midst of all this chaos, God is trying to get us to locate ourselves. Amen. Amen. And have you located yourself to where you are and where you should be? Mm -hmm. Go to Hebrews 4. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Y'all still here? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Verse 12. Y'all there? It was 14. I still see you. I still see y'all turning. Y'all go ahead and find me. There ain't in no hurry. Amen. It says, for the word of God is what? Quick, quick and what? Powerful. Word of God is what? Quick. Now, quick means what? Alive. You ever broke your nail off into what? Quick. quick. No, you're alive, don't you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. See, but the word of God is quick and powerful and what? Sharp and mean what? Two edged sword. Pierce even to the divine, divine asunder of what? Soul and spirit. Word of God is the only thing that can split soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. The only thing. Amen. And of the joints and the marrow. Okay? Now, the marrow is where the blood is made. The word of God can separate the blood from the joints. Amen. Amen. And is a what? Discerner of the what? The thoughts and what? Intents of the heart. Verse 13. Now, neither is there any creature that is not what? Manifest in his sight. Mean don't nothing get past God. No creature. Nothing get past God. But all things are what? Naked and open unto the eyes of him, God, with whom we have to do. Okay? Y'all ready? Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a real amen. That wasn't. <laughs> Y'all ready? <laughs> amen. <laughs> preach, preach. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes, perfected praise. Amen. Okay. The word of God is a discerner and a locator. The word of God is a discerner and a locator. The word of God will locate you. It will find you wherever you are. If you read that word, if you're praying to God, God will locate you and find you. And this word of God, it reveals the intents and thoughts of the heart. And none of us, none of us, God's people are able to be anywhere in creation where God's eyes are not, are not on us. It's like being at, at the mall and you try to find out where a certain store is at. And you go to that board and that red dot says what? Here. Yeah, yeah. You are here. You find out where the store is at. 247, you find 247, 247 and over this way. So you gotta find out how to go up this hall and down into down the, down the store. So what the red dot does what? Locates you. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what the word of God does. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 
It's like being at the mall and the sign shows you this red dot and it shows where you are and then you look to the store, look for the store you want and it shows you where you at as to where you are. Amen. God's Word and the Holy Ghost are the same way. The Word locates you and the Holy Ghost and the Word help you get to where you need to be. Amen. But you got to be willing and obedient to travel along the pathway that is suggested by the Word and the Holy Ghost. You got to be willing and what? Obedient. That's called God's GPS. God's positioning system. It will light up your pathway and be a light unto your feet. And this light that lights up your pathway <laughs> and this system that will lead you and guide you to your expected end. No matter the sin, no matter the test, no matter where you have fallen and what you've been through. Amen. Or what you're currently involved in. I'm going to say that again. It don't matter what you, it don't matter the mess you got yourself into. First of all, God still loves you. But that word and Holy Ghost will locate you and lead you out. But you got to be willing to follow the instructions that have been given you to get out. Amen. See, we want to be led out the way we want to be led out. I want to be led out by somebody I know. I want to go where I want to go. No, no, no. That's how you got in the, first, the mess in the first place. Amen. 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 So when we pray and read God's word and God starts making you uh, seeing these major justices that need to be made this pathway out of this mess that you got yourself in, mm -hmm. we don't want to follow the pathway. We want to make our own pathway and you get more lost to where you are. Amen. So then he has to send somebody to come get you. Yes. And most times, they ain't the one you want to save you. <laughs> and they ain't tall, dark, and handsome. Ooh. He's short. Dark, short, light, and bald head. <laughs> you can't fall in love with you. <laughs> See, you want to you, you fall in love. You want, you want the wind to blow, your hair to blow. And, oh, my, my light in shiny armor. Oh, the white horse come to get me. No. This joker walking with, with, with a limp with, with a tooth out. <laughs> so, oh, Lord Jesus, Lord. That's the best you got. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first available. <laughs> Amen. Y'all stop. Amen. But he will deliver, he'll save you. He will deliver you, but it's got to be on his terms and not yours. Not ours. It can't be on our terms. Amen. So, it, like I said, it don't matter the sin. It don't matter the test. It don't matter what you have fallen into. What kind of trap what you gave yourself over to? It don't. It, it does not matter. God loves you enough to come get you and bring you out. Amen. 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 It don't matter what your current status is. What you? I see some of y'all sitting in front of me right now. You are in a situation that you don't think that, that you can come out of. But God Amen. is telling you today, He will come get you. Amen. He'll come get you and bring you out. Amen. 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 God will. See you through. Amen? Amen. Amen. Close your eyes.